let's play some more secret files. Tunguska, shall we? Now it's been a hell of a long time. I have had a complete computer meltdown. I am now playing on a brand new computer. And I don't remember exactly where we left off, but as far as I remember, the dog went to the toilet on urgent business, and I need to uh, distract uh, the um, assistant. Let's try and make a short. A little liquid should be enough. It would look a little suspect if everything here were underwater. <laughs> Damn, why do the fuses have to choose the blow now? I have to go replace the fuses. Could you watch to make sure no one touches anything? Sure, no problem. Thanks. I'll take very special care that nobody touches a thing in here, apart from my good self. Obviously. Now, what can we do? Let's... Can we take... Yeah, let's take that. And, uh... If I'm not standing in front of it, I can take that as well. Carefully prepared samples. However... I'll take the sample out of the glass. If I take them out. I'll take the sample out of the glass. And then I put all of them in one. Or I do not. Oh yeah, sorry. No, hang on. I'll take the yeah, sample yeah, 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 out yeah, of the yeah, glass. Yeah, fine. Uh, firstly, I do that. What am I going to do with it? I'll just put one inside the other. I can't think of anything else spontaneously. And then we do that. And then we put it back. I didn't touch anything. Promise. So, hopefully, the fuse doesn't blow on me again right away. And in the meantime, I really doubt if I will ever get any surprising results here. What? That can't be! Really? The sample didn't burn up completely? You can see that with the naked eye! I don't even need to do an analysis! I have to tell Dr. Lesniak! And maybe even Professor Sidorkin! This could actually be the big breakthrough! And I had almost stopped believing it would ever happen! And you are absolutely sure that all the test conditions were controlled and complied with. I always took random samples and rechecked everything. And I would put my hand into the fire to confirm Alexei's competence. I've worked with him for many years now. So you performed the experiments. Did you notice anything different? What kind of difference? We have to check everything exactly. If the results are correct, it's a it's sensation. Not. But if we register it as a sensation, and we've made a mistake, then the most we'll get afterward is a job in a natural history museum. So go through everything again slowly. We should look at the analysis together. I only hope that we didn't miss anything. If the result is really correct, we'll go down in history. The gentlemen are certainly very enthusiastic about their discovery. I should use this chance to have a look around Sidorkin's office. There won't be much time until this Sidorkin comes back. I'll have a look around his desk first. Maybe I'll find the passenger list at least. Or something. It's huge. That's not normal. That must be genetically engineered. Or something. The documents are entitled Security Risks and Acute Threats to the Tunguska Project. I'll have a look at that, please. If I understand this correctly, in the last few years, several attacks have been carried out on official and secret research facilities. Documents were partly destroyed. But the culprits also do not seem to shy away from bomb attacks and arson either. Eyewitnesses report seeing men in black robes 
it has not been possible for the authorities to capture any of the perpetrators. Then the Secret Service FSB was entrusted with this matter, but has not been able to produce any solid results in their investigations. The assumption that this is the work of political terrorists could not be confirmed. That the attacks are being carried out by a religiously motivated sect is also being considered. I wonder if they are the same men in black robes that Eddie apparently saw and was babbling about. If all that's true, then Daddy has got bigger problems than I feared. That's true. Um... So... Tunguska Project. Error analysis is written on these files. 2000 to 2003 at the top, and at the bottom it begins with 2004. There's not very much I can do with these in the time I have. Also true. Um... Document. Some kind of scientific report about molecular biology. It's nearly all formulae, and those few words are just as incomprehensible. Not very smart, are you, Nina? The drawer is secured with a very simple, but unfortunately, a very effective lock. Hmm. How are my lock picking skills, anyway? Guess not. Um, I have played through this game. I'm just not. I've looked at the documents once, and there is no more time to check again. piece of paper reads, place all documents in the safe each time you leave the room. Signed, W-I-L. If this safe has the employee list in it, then I should have a better look around here. Maybe I can find out exactly what is going on in Tunguska, and what Daddy's got to do with it. If anything. Uh oh I thought so. The little toad is a snoop. I noticed you in Moscow at the train station, not in a good way. Toads. Remain toads, even when they are wearing clothes. But don't worry, we're going to take care of you now. That's bad. Hey, that's the police guy. And he's leaving. What is Kansky doing here in the middle of the night? Maybe I'm wrong, but I have a really bad feeling about him. I should definitely make sure he doesn't catch me. He probably hasn't forgotten the big bump on the back of his head yet. Finally, an answer to my question. I'm curious to see what my Irish colleague has found out. Hi, Max. It took a little while, but the information you wanted wasn't so easy to get. It was a good thing you sent me the original letter. But I'll tell you more later. For starters, let's talk about the Irish company and the letterhead. This company used to belong to a man named Ken Morangi, and had something to do with plant fertilizer. The company was suddenly closed down even though business was going pretty good. I unfortunately couldn't find out anything more about it either. Since then, Morangi lives like a hermit on a small island on the coast of Ireland. I've attached a map along with the mail. But now to an even more interesting story. I took a closer look at the letter you sent me. It isn't as empty as it looks at first glance. It apparently uses some kind of invisible ink. Not very imaginative, but it's apparently sufficient enough for people like you. Here are the contents of the letter. I hope you can understand it. Hello, Vladimir. Receive the documents. Copy is underway. We still have to settle the question of the handover. Ken, P.S. The whiskey is still waiting. Wow, that sure does sound mysterious. Maybe this Morangi knows something that could help us. I'd better tell Nina. I wonder what she's doing right now. Hopefully she's doing okay. I'm really worried about her. Damn. So am I. It is not my day today. First I sit with a bowel sick psychopath in a train compartment, and now with a rabid dog. I've got to get out of here again quickly. As soon as we reach the next bigger village, they want to hand me over to the authorities. That would be the end of my search. 
and probably the end of me. Hey, they didn't take everything. I have the sample glass and the 25 watt bulb and a nasty dog. I'm going over here. Um, I am worried about Nina too. So worried that I should. Uh, Let's make a save anyway. And let's have a look around. There's a cuddly little lap dog in there playing with his little bone. Isn't he cute? Nice doggy. And there's a bone. A piece of bone. Like she said. The dog seems to prefer the left half of the cage. Right, it's open inside. We have a dog leash. A leather dog leash. It's mine. As it always is in games such as these. This is. There are a lot of pieces of meat in the box. Well, let's take one. I'll take myself a piece. Steak dinner. According to the top display, the temperature is 54 degrees Fahrenheit. The lower display shows a humidity of 28%. Hmm. Above this hatch, freedom must be endless. And we have... a hose. For a... vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner hose. Long, flexible, and boring. I would think so. can't open the flap, it's stuck. Oh, brother, there must be harder things to do. I'm sure it would be. Maybe I can use the bone. Before I get to that bone, the dog will be gnawing on mine. Maybe we need a distraction. I could just put the stick in there, but then he would eat it and go back to his bone. So, let's do it like that. So, he should be busy for a while. Hope he doesn't actually break it and gets... I didn't, wouldn't want to actually hurt the guy. That would be bad. Hopefully it's plastic then. Anyway, I think we can use the... Uh, hang on. A piece of bone. Okay. Maybe we can use it to lever up the... If I stick the flat side in the flap and then lever it open... So it is. There is a vacuum cleaner bag in there. I'll take it out. Well, you never know. Do I have to rummage around in that? Yes, I suppose I probably do. Well, we have uh, animal here. Barret. Here, here, accessory thing. Maybe I'm not a woman, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, anyway. I feel I'm still missing something. A leather dog leash. Tube. Take. A metal pipe. I wonder. Freedom is endless if we can get there. So if we combine that and throw that there, we should be able to get out. Yes. Hopefully no one heard that. Otherwise my problems are about to increase. Mm, true. Now we throw. I could get onto the roof that way. 
As long as I don't slash an artery on those broken bits of glass. You could remove it first, you know? Alright. So do not try this at home, folks. That is very dangerous. There's stuffy air coming out of that pipe. And this one? I presume this belongs to an air conditioning unit. Probably. Let's try and put some hair in there. Let's see if this helps a bit. And then we combine that one with that one. It doesn't seem to have any great effect. Of course it doesn't. We need to increase the, temp the temperature slightly. It could move faster, Nina. <laughs> Perhaps not on top of a moving train. Falling off would be certain death. I'll take myself no, a piece. No, I didn't need more of that. Display. That's just a display. How did I... How did I actually... Gonna go hungry. I didn't want to take it down. It doesn't seem to have any great effect. That's the way to do it. I didn't want to take it though. and I am not going to be able to open it from the outside. I need to increase... The... Or... Firstly... The animal hairs are still in there. I'll take them out. Maybe I should put it in the other one. Let's see if this helps a bit. If the heater in the compartment is on, and I am assuming it is, My mistake. the hair should actually burn. The stink of that should be noticed even by unwashed scientists. There we go. My 
mistake. even more dangerous. Watch out, Nina. Hurry. Phew. That was close. Okay, let's try this again. If anyone has information about any scientists on board, then it is this Sidorkin guy. In his function as the scientific leader, he must have hidden the information somewhere. Probably. Let's surmise that. Hmm. We have a bit more time to explore this room now, so uh, let's get at it. I thought Comrade Lenin went out of fashion years ago. True. Though he seems to be... A statue. He's looking this way. If I didn't know better, I would say he's grinning at me. So let's remove that grin, shall we? I'll take the skull with me, but I won't walk carrying a complete human skeleton. Good point. Uh, also... Let's just see... If we can open this now? Open! Another uh, statue thing. Let's take that off. This has nothing to do with puzzles at all. The statue has clicked into position. Hmm. I wonder if I turn you. Oh, I can turn the statue, but I can't pick it up. It seems to be anchored to the plinth. If I turn you, then... This way... And you... This way... And you... Around... And around... Apparently, the right orientation of the statues triggered a secret mechanism. Yeah, you have to notice that he's looking that way, and that. So what's in here? <coughs> Soundproofed walls, and then this chair. Are they torturing people in here? It does not look very pleasant, does it? There are restraints for hands and feet mounted onto this chair. Has someone been kept prisoner here? A book about the notorious pirate, Bail Schmidt, who initially made life very difficult for the patricians and later for the colonists near Port Royal. So it would seem. Flap. I can't see any handle or switch to open the flap with. Go figure. Pretty. Actually, not very. Um... I can't see any handle or switch to open the flap with. I cannot see that either. Which means I'm missing something again. No, yes I am. Um, I have a book. There's a book missing. It sounds like a mechanism has been triggered, but I cannot see any changes. Books about Sir Francis Drake, Blackbeard, Henry Morgan, 
William Kidd, Jack Rackham, all extremely pleasant folk who sailed under the flag of the skull and crossbones to liberate the seven seas from the plague of merchants. Nice guy. Hey, it's open. Hooray. Wow, that was close. I managed to survive an assassination attempt in my father's apartment and the guys from the Secret Service, only to be almost killed by a picture. Life can be strange, can't it? Not that complicated. Anyway, uh, safe. What sort of strange lock is that? If I understand this correctly, I should try turning all the lights off. That's true. And, uh... When you click on one, the ones around... This will get turned off. Those will turn on. So if I click this one, for example... And then this. That. It's not the bestest of examples, I suppose. Oh, damn it. I don't think that worked. If I understand this correctly, yeah, I should try... Um... Well... I guess... This is as good a place as any to, um... Take a short break. So... This was your host, the Lazy Gamer. Logging off. Bye, guys.